welcome back to United Brothers. Uh, today we have two drones. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Orange so, and blue to stick with the theme of the exactly uh, channel. Exactly, the channel, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's our, those Have are our to. colors, man. Have to. <laughs> um, so if I'm not mistaken, these are actually by Aries, right? Yeah, they are. They've actually been released about four years ago. Okay. Um, they are actually recently been discontinued. Okay. Um, and now at uh, a local hobby store, like uh, Hobby Town, is actually selling them for only 60 bucks. When they actually originally stickered for 400 nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one thing that's really cool about these, I, I can see out of the box, um, they, they have LEDs all over them. Yep. Um, really cool carbon fiber design. Yeah. It's kind of cool, actually. I do like these um, bodies. It almost kind of feels like you're doing one of those dirt cars. Like, uh -huh. It's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Looks like a racer. Um, these use a 2203 cell, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yep. Cool. And they have uh, 2204 uh, motors, so it's actually plenty of power, especially for someone just getting into Get, racing. Getting into it. It's not totally overpowered. Uh, six inch props, so not too bad. Pretty quiet. Yeah. <laughs> and they actually come with the uh, video transmitter and camera, which is so awesome. So you're basically ready to go. Yeah. All you need out of the box is a controller, battery charger, and a set of goggles, and you're good to go. Basically, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken either, like he was saying, Hobby Town USA, um, the one that's actually down here in Spokane that we got these from. Yeah. I mean, they have a ton of these still in the back back room. So if you're seeing this <laughs> video, you want one. They're sixty bucks, and you Definitely. can also get them on the uh, Hobby Town website too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, you know, just because something discontinued doesn't mean you shouldn't check it out. I mean, you can't go wrong with one of these for 60 bucks. Yeah. And so. what's funny is online, they're actually selling them for 80 and Really? In the store, they're selling them for 60 so I'll definitely go down to the store. Yeah, and if you're, like we said, if you're not anywhere in the Spokane area or ones that are selling these, go ahead and just go online. It's worth the yeah. 20 bucks extra. It does take a little bit of know-how on to program this guy. If I remember, uh, you're having actually a little bit of trouble with that. <laughs> they're kind of outdated boards, aren't they? They are. They're uh, really old Nace 32 boards. Okay. Um, so these quads are so technically four years old, but new, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So these are definitely an older design. Yep. Okay. So these are definitely like, what, 2014, probably mm -hmm. around that time area? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Definitely. Well, I got to say, though, like I said, they, they seem really nice. They seem really well built. I think yeah. what we should do is get up and fly these things. What do you think? Definitely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys. I'm about to look like a total doofus and uh, try this out. <laughs> okay, let's do oh, it. Man, let's see how these Cyclops look, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man, let's try this. Go for it. Um, so I'm definitely not new to quads. I've flown them for quite a while, but uh, I'm definitely getting kind of new to the racing side of it. Damon's mm -hmm. done a lot more of the uh, free flight than I have. Mm -hmm. So let's try this thing out, man. Yeah. Oh. Your switch. There you go. Oh. oh just once. There you go. This is cool. Got the power. Yeah. Here we are. I see us. Ho oh, oh. ho! <laughs> There's trees over there. Okay. <laughs> I lost you so fast. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna stay away from us. <laughs> yeah. Probably that shouldn't do that. That sounded very, very threatening. <laughs> it was very close. Let's just say that. This thing's sweet, man. Passes out here. Sure. I don't go too far. I don't have the best attain on this thing. Pretty fast. Dude, this is cool. I gotta say too, uh, flying the little Dutchers around has really kind of helped too. Oh yeah. Get used to this. You need to get some hoops out here. Ho ho. Okay. <laughs> Up this in a little bit there. Coming around. I like it, man. It's yeah, very like stable. It? Good. This is what the assistant's on, of course. Yep. If you're not entirely uh, comfortable with the uh, macro yet, are no, you? Not quite yet. Okay. I, I think I could fly it, just no tricks. This is cool, man. I really like it. Looks like you're doing really good, actually. Pretty impressed. Yeah. I mean, not doing anything crazy like you would. <laughs> I mean, it's for my first time flying, not too bad. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, it's kind of another whole world of doing this stuff. Oh, it is, yeah. It's like you're actually in it, flying it. With those leaves. Yeah, you're close <laughs> to the ground. I was trying to be. Yeah, this, uh, this is actually doing really well. I like it. It's a little high up there. And for 60 bucks, that's a... Deal, yeah, no yeah. It's actually really sad they discontinued these. Were they just not a good seller, or what was it, do you think? The price is way too high. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's Unfortunately, that's kind of the same thing that happened with the uh, VTOL, right? Mm-hmm. The uh, V-Hawk was the same same issue. They were priced way too high. It started like $500, yeah, that thing. and the sad part is it's going to make everyone laugh. I got mine for 13 bucks. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is, this is awesome. Looks like you're in blast. I'm just loving it, man. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even flying aggressive. I'm just having a good time. Yeah. What would you say, uh, what would you say the flight times are on these, do you think? Probably about eight minutes if you're just, like, just like flying around, around like right you now. are, yeah. Oh, wow. Not going full throttle at all. Man, for just a little 2200 3 cell, I mean, those are, like, some of the cheapest batteries you can get. Definitely. 
It's handling the wind really well too. Like I don't even feel the wind right now. We got kind of a good gust going on. A little bit of a gust. Yeah. About five, ten miles an hour. See me out here? <laughs> yeah, I see you. Walk rocking around. <laughs> see if I can get close to us without running into us. Wow, do I look like a doofus? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're pretty fast. Yeah, it is. I love it, man. This is cool. You're out there. It is really <laughs> stable. Like this is it's surprising how stable this is. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of the racers actually uh, bought a few of these, took out all the, all the electronics, and put it in their own frames, which really? is actually a really good idea. Not bad at all, actually. I, honestly, the frame does feel really good, though. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and land mine. Okay. You know, I've gotten a really good feel for this, and this is my true to like you know, like I said, this is my first flight. So. Yeah, it's your maiden with this thing. This is my maiden, so I'm really impressed. Nice yeah. tip off. There you are. There you go. Perfect. Dude, that was awesome. I honestly, uh, you know, let me fix this hair there. <laughs> oh. Okay. It looks so good. No, this is actually, uh, I had a really good time with that. Yeah. Um, it flies really, really well. I mean, like I said, I'm. I'm not new to quads, but uh, I'm definitely new to more of the racing side of it, and that was that was awesome. I had a really good time with that. Mm -hmm. um, let's go ahead and let Damon get his up because he's the pro. Let's see what this thing can do for tricks. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna fly mine now. Maybe put it in acro and do a few tricks, and let's see how fast we can go. Let's see what it can do. Uh, you guys saw the novice do it, so now let's see what a pro can do. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pro for sure. <laughs> All right. Dude, you look amazing with those things. Thanks, man. <laughs> off my I know. That's what. It's already an acro. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. This stock antenna is a little, a little weird. Yeah. The thing is pretty quick for the price. That was full throttle there. Wow. It's not slow by any means. No, not at all. Punch out is. Okay. Not super powerful, but, but enough to get you out of there. Definitely. You are out there. Am I? Oh yeah. Now you're coming in. It's I mean it's not a bad speed at all. I think it's perfect if you're learning. One thing I do want to complain about is the angle of the camera. Because if you do want to go faster, you're looking at the ground the whole time. Oh, really? They didn't do that very. So they didn't do that very well, did they? No, and you can't adjust it either. <laughs> it does not do close very well. <laughs> no. More of a straight and level kind of quad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. It seems it like doesn't like those too much. That might be my tuning, but it does need to be tuned a little bit more. Think so? Yeah. That seemed a little close. It was really close. You're like a foot away from your face. <laughs> you got really cocky with that one. I can't see. I'm going forward. I was a little worried for you. Oops. Oh. <laughs> that got really close. I actually backed up. I bumped the... I bumped the little uh, monitor on the camera because I was backing up. <laughs> you got really close. Oopsie. <laughs> you got really close. No pass. Oh. Whoa. Crying out loud. That was weird. <laughs> that didn't seem natural. Not really. Is that auto level? Oh, there's auto level. Hey, look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> that seems too slow for you. A little bit. Wobbly. Yeah, it definitely needs to be tuned more, but... What it is, it's not that bad. No? Uh -uh. I also think for 60 bucks, you should definitely pick these up before they're gone. Definitely. I, don't know, I know what a lot of people are doing is putting their own flight controllers in that they're more comfortable with. Oh, yeah? And just using the rest of the electronics? Yeah, because this is a stock board that's in here right now, and I can tell you right now it's not that good. <laughs> so what are the um, what are the benefits of upgrading your board in something like this? Like, what does it do for you differently? Uh, better reaction, uh, you can update it to basically anything you want. Uh, this has 
has beta flight in it right now, which is basically the only thing that works in it. Okay. So you couldn't update a different board with this actual specific quad, could you? Uh, sure you could, yeah. Oh, you could? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But these are what they come stock with, is that one? Yep. Okay. Yeah, if I remember too, it was actually quite hard for you to figure out how to program just because it's so outdated, right? It took me about three days. Three nights, I should say. Okay. It's not too bad. I mean, my tuning might be a little off, so that's might be why uh, the performance is a little weird. Um, but for what you get, it's not bad at all. Electronics are good. All right, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, I loved it, man. Yeah. I, uh, you know, like I said, I've, I've flown a lot of the like the small indoor quads. Mm -hmm. I flew a lot of the. I remember me flying the Ominous and then the Vista with you back yeah. you know, a couple years ago. <laughs> um, you know, I, I have a lot of experience with quads. I just don't fly them quite to the same level that you do. Yeah. But you know, this is a really good stepping stuff for me to start getting there. Definitely. You know, I, uh, time for me to start exploring this stuff a little more. <laughs> um, so since I did the uh, the gyro flight and you did the acro, I think it'd be appropriate if we both kind of split the review up. Okay. Um, first off, I don't have anything to complain about. It uh, it's really good at holding it, holding the angle you want. It doesn't uh, doesn't do any weird tendencies that I don't like. I honestly felt controlled the whole time. I flew yeah. with the goggles on my first time, which a lot of people will fly line of sight before the goggles, and this thing flew great. Yeah. And then I flew it around. You just saw a little bit of that kind of that music compilation going on there. I flew it around. Uh, flew it around just line of sight. I had a good time. Yeah, and I, with uh, the goggles is actually way easier than line of sight. Yeah, too. and it's a lot of fun. I actually was having a great time just flying around line of sight or yeah. goggles. Yeah. I mean, you could do either. <laughs> yeah. I honestly think for uh, sixty bucks, this is a great price. I mean, you should pick these up before they're all gone. Definitely, yeah. Um, Even if you want to take the electronics out of them. So yeah, really yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Like you, like you said, I think the only thing I see myself is uh, I saw how frustrated you are with that board. And I honestly think that they're they're definitely outdated. Yeah, they are. But I still had a great time with this, man. I mean, this is fun. Yeah. I think they're great. I think they're a great little quad. Um, it's a good platform. So I'd say for myself, for the uh, gyro part of it, I'd say I would definitely give it a ten. Okay. But uh, let's see what you have to say about it. Oh uh, well, the uh, acro mode, it's not too bad. I mean, mine is uh, a little out of tune, so I need to work on that a little more. But if I do get it in tune, it probably uh, actually work very well. Very well. Uh, Does it have any uh, bad tendencies you don't like about it? Because I noticed that you were saying a couple things that was a little weird. Well, I probably have the uh, model or motor idle speed too low, so you can't really do uh, flips on zero throttle. Oh, okay. Um, but that's the only thing. I just got to change that. And, okay, uh, so that's something flight. that you can you can fix yourself. Yeah, definitely. So, would you say these platforms? I mean, I think the price was definitely a little far fetched. Yeah. When they when they <laughs> came bucks, out. Yeah. That's kind of the big thing I noticed with a lot of Aries products was. Uh, most of the time, by the time we get them, or we did get them new, I mean, their prices drop significantly. Yeah. Um, you know, I honestly hope they start turning it around a little bit because, I mean, they do make some great stuff. Mm -hmm. I've been impressed with some of their airplanes, and this is really cool too, actually, yeah. but 400 is a little fetch for it. Mm -hmm. Just one other thing, uh, the camera on this, um, it definitely, when you're looking at the sky, the ground is completely black. Yeah, yeah. And same with the looking at the ground, the sky is completely black. So um, if you exchange that out, it'd be perfect. Yeah, the camera, the camera was a little weird to me too. Yeah. Um, I was, uh, I was actually flying around on it myself when I was in the gyro mode. The biggest thing I noticed was the closer I got to the ground, the more color would you know come into yeah, play. Yeah. But what was weird though is the further I got away, it wasn't I wasn't losing signal, but then it started going to black and white, like yeah. gray. So. I honestly think for 60 bucks, if you can find any of these around, if there's any local hobby stores that have them or anything like that that are discounted, please grab one. I Definitely. Mean, uh, you did also say these are for sale on hobby, uh, HobbyTownUSA.com. Yep. But uh, you said they're about 20 bucks more. But honestly, I mean, 20 bucks more is nothing. nothing yeah. It's, it's still, it's, it's still good it. for this, yeah. It's under 100 bucks, so you can't go wrong. Nope. So, anyway, though, guys, uh, I'm Robert. I'm David. Uh, this is United Brothers, and uh, we'll see you guys again next time. See ya. Back in the department whatsoever. Yeah, dual brushless motors, I wouldn't think so. Oh, man, dude, this, thing, this thing's a rocket ship. Here's full power. Infinite it up. Something. <laughs> Did the tricks already? Oh. I need a little cock, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's four channel Dude, plane. Dude, this thing is, this is so unlike, I didn't think it was going to be this good. Are you speechless? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I mean, holy crap, this thing is fast, man. Full power. I mean, it just rips through the sky, man. I mean, it's so quick. Listen to those motors. So going full power will get you about three minutes of flight time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll slow it down a little bit. Hey, look. 